Here today we're going to be testing on our oscillating Timken Phalanx tester. Um, this product here, Arch Oil 9200 Friction Modifier. We've added, according to the directions, one ounce of additive to one ounce of oil. We chose today the Mobile Synthetic um, Extended Performance. This is our choice of oil today. And we're going to start applying a load here in just a moment. on this is 54.33 to 1 and we're going to apply some one pound weights to start with. Here's one. Here's two weights. Oh, uh, that's not very good. The uh, mobile Exxon 5W30 normally tests with no additive at 162 pounds of load. And we'll do the math real quick on this. And we had two weights. Uh, times two pounds is all. 108 pounds of load. Um, this test is to compare with the eventual test findings of a product called TurboMax, and we just tested that product, and it went to 26.5 pounds of load, which equates to 1,439.74 pounds um, on the bearing load. So I'd have to say arch oil, it would be a fail. All right, we're using the 10W30 uh, synthetic racing engine oil that we have here that we had made. And we've added one ounce per quart of the TurboMax to it to see what it does. We're going to add two pounds or two and a half pound weights to it about every 10 seconds. There's one. On the second one, number three. starting to get a little bit hot. We've been using it for about two hours. Another one. <clears throat> one more. First oil to go to nine weights. Nine weights. Yes. Twenty two point five pounds. Twenty two point five 
if the machine wasn't so hot, it'd probably go just a little. It'd probably take maybe one more weight. The hotter it gets, the more it affects it. That's 1,200 and 22 pounds. 0.42 pounds. And next test I'm going to do, I'm going to measure this wear scar mark. And then I want to add a little bit of calcium sulfonate to it because it doesn't seem to have very much in it. 